Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about the dual fuel engines. Dual fuel engines are known for years, but how do they work? I am going to tell you how. Dual fuel engines use a combination of fuel. One will be liquid and the other will be gaseous. The commonly used liquid fuel is diesel and the commonly used gaseous fuel is methane or the CNG gas is also commonly used in dual fuel engines. There is only one reason to make the engine capable of running as dual fuel because the liquid fuels are expensive compared to the gaseous. By running the engine with the gaseous fuel we can make the engine more economical and efficient. The main fuel that is used in here is the natural gas or the gaseous fuel. But it is not that easy to make a diesel engine to operate with a gaseous fuel because the gaseous fuel won't self-ignite quickly because of the high octane number. That's why the dual fuel operation comes in because we need a pilot fuel injection and the fuel injection will be diesel injection so we have to use two fuel systems. And most of the dual fuel engine have a switching mechanism. When we demand more power we can make the engine to run only with the liquid fuel to produce more performance. I already said the gaseous fuel won't self-ignite so we have to initiate the combustion by providing a pilot fuel injection and the pilot fuel used here will be diesel and it will be injected in a range of 5 to 7 percent of the total air fuel mixture ratio and this person will be always maintained as constant because the job of the pilot fuel is only is to initiate the combustion process and it will propagate as similar to the spark ignition engine. So the combustion will initiate as a combustion ignition engine and it will propagate as a spark ignition engine. So it will be a combination of these two combustion process. The factors that depends on the performance of a dual fuel engine such as the pilot fuel quantity, the injection timing, the CTA number of the pilot fuel used, the inlet temperature of the fresh mixture and the type of gaseous fuel used and the octane number of the fuel and the throttling the mixture strength which have a direct influence in the power produced during the combustion process so these are the factors that directly influence the performance of a dual fuel engine this figure shows the PTT diagram of a dual fuel engine here you can see the crank angle is shown in the x axis and the pressure is in the y axis the peak pressure is produced by the liquid fuel only and the lowest pressure is produced by only using the pilot fuel injection and by combining it with a gaseous fuel we will get a, a pressurized that is in between the operation of liquid and the pilot fuel. If we prefer more economic vehicle operation we can prefer the dual fuel. Thank you for watching have a nice day and bye.